Well, g'day curd nerds. Today we're going to be doing a taste test for saffron infused cheese. Yes, I made this way back in January 2019. It's now May 2019. Uh, so it has been maturing for five months, normally about three months, uh, maybe four, actually four months normally it would be uh, to mature this cheese, but I left it for an extra month. It didn't do any damage, had a lot going on, that sort of thing, you know, life gets in the way of cheese. Anyway, uh, pretty good looking. It hasn't uh, puffed up. There's no gas formation during maturation. Uh, the colour has remained fairly well the same, which is good. Um, so let's crack open the vacuum packing and uh, see where we go from there. Oh, it's fairly dry, it's not moist. Oh, smells strong. Oh, smells strong indeed. All right, get that out of the way. Just a bit of a wipe of the hands. Ooh, that has a strong, well, peppery, I would think, sort of aroma. Now let's see if I can use the trusty cheese cutter to get through this very hard cheese. <laughs> My God, it's moving. Ah, oh. no. Nah. It's not going to cut it. It tried, but no cigar. Right, let's just get that out of the way. Get the sharpest knife on the planet. And where's the line? We'll try and cut in the line. There it is. I can need some special cheese cutting tools for this one. Oh. Goodness. That's a solid cheese. Still going. Maybe it's a peppercorns. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, very nice. That looks fabulous. Really good. So that's a um, lovely colour inside. You can see the flecks of saffron you can see the the cut pieces of uh of peppercorns very cool indeed um so let's just put i'll put half aside uh when we'll cut this into quarters oh that cuts a better oh there we go very nice pop that over there and we'll cut off a chunk for tasting Oh, so it does have a little bit of eye formation. It's not mechanical. It looks like there was a little bit of gas, but then the bag wasn't puffed up any. So maybe they are mechanical holes, um, but that's okay. Very yellow, um, obviously from the saffron. Oh, I'm excited, very, I'm very excited. Ooh, strong, strong aromas like um, a well-aged parmesan, I think. Let's try. Oh, very peppery. Oh, but the flavour is good. Oh. That. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a peppercorn stuck in my throat. That is very, very nice. That's firm. A bit like an alpine cheese. In firmness. Um, it's not crumbly. And there's this beautiful, subtle, 
the spice flavour from the saffron, oh, it's just amazing. And then combine that with the peppercorns. Um, and you get a little bit of peppery kick. Oh. So good. Oh, my goodness. I hope this is how the official one from Sicily tastes like. Oh. Or is it Sardinia? I can't remember. Mmm. That is a beautiful cheese. And as we say here in Australia, it's going straight to the pool room. <laughs> oh. That flavour is so much different that, than any other cheese I've tasted. But it's not overpowering. The peppercorns do it justice. Give that little spicy hint. And then the overall... Oh, the flavour from the saffron really complements this cheese. This is a delightful cheese. I really thought that the saffron that I used was probably a little bit too old when I made it, but no, the flavour has really come out. Um, probably be even more flavoursome with uh, really fresh saffron, but I'll tell you what, this is just from the supermarket and it's delightful. This is very, very nice cheese indeed. Oh, I can't get enough. Now, I don't know about its melting properties. Might melt. Um, but with the peppercorns in it, you probably wouldn't... Um, you probably wouldn't put in a cheese sandwich, toasty type thing anyway. Um, I don't think it'd go very well with it. Very good on a cheese platter. Oh, there's even a sort of, um, I can feel it on the back of my tongue now. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a numbness. Uh, it's kind of what it feels like. It's not like taking cloves or anything like that, but it's a little subtle, tingle on the back of the tongue um obviously from the saffron but oh it is it is delightful mm. and excuse me for speaking while my mouth was full then um the it's just the right dryness so it's dried out just enough it's not moist, it's not crumbly. You could grate it, it'd be nice on pasta as well, especially with a peppercorn kick to it too. But as an eating cheese, this is just delightful. And I'll leave it there, I think. Uh, not much more I can say about saffron infused cheese uh, with peppercorns, very, very nice. So hopefully you've given it a go and it's sitting in your cheese cave. Um, but if you haven't, go and check out the video over here and you can buy the kit. I think the Italian cheese kit would probably be the best. Um, and you pick that up over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Anyway, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.